Hello, good morning. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review. Of, bringing you a review of the European markets for this morning's trading, Tuesday, sixth of July, two thousand and sixteen. Be sure to visit TradeSignal.com. Signals and market updates from leading providers. www.tradesignal.com, and you can download the app from the uh, Google App Store and uh, and the Apple App Store as well. Okay, in terms of markets this morning, certainly have surprised me. Stopped out my FTSE shorts. Uh, certainly gained in terms of my Aussie shorts. Uh, and I currently have a, a Nasdaq active short as well. Uh, the US market certainly reversed yesterday, although Asian markets not so stellar. And the Shanghai flight, whilst the Nikkei certainly closed down. Yet the uh, European markets certainly have taken a cue and certainly pushing higher as we speak. FTSE is up by a stellar 1.5%, DAX down up, uh, up 0.7%, and the French CAC is up by 1.4%. So Asian markets certainly not following through in terms of the US market rally, folks. Okay, certainly not following through. But in terms of the uh, European market, certainly is seeing a follow through day. Uh, in terms of uh, fundamentals this morning, certainly bearish from my perspective. Uh, BRC shop price index is down, Germany factory orders down, construction down, UK trade, uh, US trade, well, data, US, US trade, trade that was certainly interpreted as being bullish yesterday. Now, obviously, we have UK property concerns with the likes of Aberdeen Asset Management now, the latest domino to potentially fall. Okay, ban on redemptions, certainly not a good idea. Italian uh, Italians have actually banned short selling to a large extent, and again, that's not a good idea. No, it certainly loses confidence in the actual equity market. Chinese currency is at 5.5 year low, okay, uh, and again, that's not exactly good for European exports, given the fact that China's certainly taken over. Uh, Chinese Nikkei economic data, I think, overnight was certainly bearish. Barclays cuts housing sector uh, potential housing market, so certainly a new a downgrade there, okay. Uh, now, German forecasts of UK exports certainly declining. Marks and Spencer certainly down in terms of their retail sales, down almost 9%. And Chinese banks under immense pressure given the uh, potential non-performing loans. Okay, uh, And again, a potential debt to GDP uh, uh, ratio, which is certainly uh, bordering an extreme. And again, like I said, French imports and exports certainly weaker, along with German data weaker this morning. So therefore, net net, the bias certainly is bearish, and therefore looking for a move lower. Let's look at the actual technical picture now, and let's see exactly where we are. So let's bring up the chart of the German DAX first of all. Okay, so the German DAX certainly popping today, and uh, given the fact that we have uh, an unfilled gap below, uh, you do have a resistance here. Previous support equals resistance here. Okay, so that's basically the zone that we're looking at. Okay. In terms of the next move lower, you have gap fill below as well. So there's your gap, the unfilled gap that we certainly need to close below. So watch out for that potential gap to close. Previous support, previous resistance equals support as well. You certainly have put a double bottom in on the German DAX at that 9315 level as well. So certainly keep an eye on that. Okay. In terms of um, the larger time frame, let's just bring up the 60 minute chart for you folks. Okay, so again, the gap fill certainly hasn't closed at 9270, so certainly keep an eye on that, especially with these banking concerns that certainly seem to be dominating at present, folks. Okay, all eyes on those banking sector uh, concerns. Okay, but again, certainly a good base at 9200, and then we have multiple gaps above the German DAX in the daily chart. Given the weak economic data today, certainly will keep the German DAX subjugated and subdued. Okay, so certainly take that into consideration. And you certainly have unfilled gaps below as well, given the uh, ongoing concerns in Europe as well. That certainly seem to be dominating, okay? In terms of the French CAC, let's bring this up for you. So again, we're coming into resistance now on the French CAC. Let me just clean this chart up for you as well. Okay, so 10 minute, you have gap fill here. Uh, you have previous support equals resistance, which we're into now. You have unfilled gap below. Given the fact that Asian certain markets certainly weren't stellar, and obviously you have concerns with regards to the property sector, all those factors certainly will look to uh, potentially weigh on the markets in total, okay? So French CAC certainly into resistance, and uh, like I said, on unfilled gap below, that needs to close. Certainly have put in a potential double bottom scenario here on the French CAC at 4060, so watch that carefully, okay? Right, uh, longer time frame on the French CAC, you're into that previous support equals resistance, you have an unfilled gap at 4235, 200MA, and then obviously unfilled gaps above, but for, for now you certainly have bounced off this gap fill, unfilled gap below, certainly some horizontal support at the 4060 zone, so watch out for that, okay, if that cracks then you have an unfilled gap at 3980, and given the uh, ongoing concerns in Europe as well, certainly watch out for that, okay. In terms of the daily chart, let's just bring this up for you, certainly clean it up for you as well, okay, to a large extent. Uh, again, the uh, unfilled gap below certainly remains. So you have two unfilled gaps below. Uh, that certainly needs to be targeted. Also, you have gaps above as well. So 
certainly in that zone although we are into gap fill resistance at, at present which is 4160 zone so looking for weakness in the interim on the French CAC okay in terms of the FTSE 100 again a quite a stellar pop this morning on the FTSE in the back of a potential oil pop as well uh, we are now selling off though we're holding resistance at the 56568 five, zone and looking to potentially test that 6530 zone below okay 60 minute chart the FTSE has a diagonal trend line so you're into resistance a lot again looking to potentially test the uh, low again the pivot low certainly seems to have held at 6430 and again that should be interesting to see how it's tested daily chart on the FTSE 100 we retested previous resistance equal support certainly have bounced how long we bounced how far we bounced again will be tested okay uh, you certainly had an inside bar we've negated that to a large extent and again uh, focus remains back on that weekly uh, resistance zone in the FTSE okay last chart uh, but not least is the SA, the euro stocks let's bring up the euro stocks as always very important benchmark for the european indices uh, certainly has pushed higher impressive push higher this morning okay 10 minute chart at the moment you have an unfilled gap above at 3812 so certainly keep an eye out for that potential gap fill okay uh, and again you have unfilled gap below as well so given the fact that asian markets are certainly weak and you have ongoing concerns with regards to europe certainly take that on board as well okay looking at the 60 minute chart uh, again you're looking at potential gap fill resistance here that's the zone that we're going to be looking at in terms of the next potential move you do have your key diagonal trend line here so watch out for that key diagonal trend line we are into resistance on that so again euro stock certainly into uh, resistance with regards to that with unfill gap at 2700 given the monte de Pachy in the banking sector and obviously the uh, property sector concerns that we're seeing at present okay so again all those factors certainly will come into play daily chart just clean that up for you as well daily chart is an inside bar thus far so certainly no overwhelming bullish pattern so again keep an eye out for that okay right let's just quickly look at oil uh, oil is quite important quite detrimental holding that key resistance at that 48 dollar l so certainly indicating weakness let's look at copper see if any move in copper has occurred copper at the moment certainly a bounce of a double bottom so certainly needs to be respected for now but again it's all about property okay it's all about property keep an eye on property sector sir, folks okay let's just bring up the uh, FTSE property sector quickly where are the FTSE property sector volatility yeah I mean, you clearly see the FTSE volatility index certainly is bouncing as into support so you are looking at FTSE resistance here okay so you're looking for FTSE weakness okay so we have FTSE personal house gold, gold real estate here we go so real estate certainly popping today certainly bouncing at the moment but again it's short-lived weekly chart certainly remains weak folks okay so you're looking at weekly chart resistance uh, uh, support below okay but for now we certainly are seeing a slight pop how long that pop lasts so again certainly needs to be tested okay certainly it seems to have held that potential pivot low for now and again all eyes on the property sector from my perspective okay folks right i think that's a wrap then in terms of european indices be sure to visit uh, cfds.com for your trading needs and uh, bias remains bearish given the weakness in the asian markets overnight okay also give with regards to australia potentially being downgraded as well what we'll keep an eye on that to, uh obviously latest perspective there as well okay goodbye now